Aloha nui kako. Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Lenani lozi and I'm an outreach assistant at the International Gemini Observatory in Hilo, Hawaii, a program of NSF's NOR Lab. Mahalo for joining me and my colleague Jamika Marshall, who will appear later in this video, for another edition of MKO at Home. For today's MKO at Home lesson, we're going to learn a little bit about makahiki. And so makahiki and the star cluster associated with it is makali'i or the Pleiades pictured here. Makahiki in Olelo Hawaii, the Hawaiian language, has a few different meanings. It means year, age, new year, and also refers to a time of celebration known as the Makahiki season or the start of the Hawaiian New Year. Every island has its own traditions and stories surrounding Makahiki, but there are of course some common elements as well. This is a picture of Makali'i or the Pleiades as seen from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. So Makahiki is a time of celebration, games, friendly competitions, peace, and worship of the god Lono. During the rule of Kamehameha Paea, or King Kamehameha I, Makahiki was also a time for tax collection. The collection and celebrations would start on one part of the island with the erection of a staff in the shape of Lono. And this staff, draped in kapa and lei, would be taken around the entire island through each district. The different sizes of the Hawaiian Islands could be why Makahiki is celebrated for different lengths of time on different islands. And so priests of the islands would watch for signs in the weather and skies to indicate when the Makahiki season would begin. On Hawaii Island, these signs included the rising of Makali'i, or the Pleiades, in the east, aligning with the sunset in the west. Depending on your location on the island and the weather at the time, the exact date of this alignment can vary, but most sources will agree that this alignment begins to happen in October. Following the alignment, the next Hilo moon, the first moon phase of the Hawaiian moon calendar, marks the beginning of Makahiki. Makahiki this year begins on November 15th, 2020. So how can we make these predictions of the sky ourselves? While first-hand observations are always the best when it comes to learning these traditional practices, I've used a free resource called Stellarium, my moon phase calendar from Homai Kapono, and of course consulted my Kumu cultural practitioner, Lele Hua Yuen. For more information about Makahiki and the Hawaiian moon phases, you can visit these resources. Aloha, my name is Jamika Marshall. I am an outreach assistant at the International Gemini Observatory, a program of NSF's NORA Lab. As mentioned by my colleague, Alyssa Leinani Losi, Makali'i is the Hawaiian name for the Pleiades star cluster. The Pleiades is an open cluster easily visible to the naked eye. An open cluster is a group of up to a few thousand stars that were formed from the same giant molecular cloud and are still loosely gravitationally bound to each other. These stars have similar ages, chemical compositions, and distances from the sun. Open clusters are strongly concentrated close to the galactic plane where they form from cold, dense clouds of molecular gas and dust. There are over 1,000 known open clusters in our galaxy. The Pleiades, or Messier 45, is located about 430 light years from the Earth and the constellation of Taurus, as seen in this image captured from Stellarium, an open source free software planetarium program. The Pleiades is one of the most famous open clusters in the night sky. Now this cluster is dominated by several hot, luminous and massive stars. 
The blue nebulosity surrounding the brightest stars is due to light from the stars scattering off dust grains in the interstellar gas between us and those stars. The cluster is also known as the Seven Sisters, and in Japan, it is called Subaru. Have you ever seen the Pleiades or Makali'i in the night sky? Mahalo ya oi, ika ho'olohe ana mai. Thanks for listening and ahui ho.